Hi everyone, I'm Kat, and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So today I am sitting down to share with you my July favorites, and this one has been really slow and really fast all at the same time. There have been just like a lot of things going on in my life. I really need to sit down and film another chatty get ready with me. You guys seem to really have been liking those recently, and I definitely need to do one. Hopefully, like maybe my next video after this or I say that, but maybe like one of the next videos that comes after this, um, I can sit down and do that with you guys. But I've been trying out a lot of products. I've discovered a lot of new favorites this month. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Uh, the first product I'm going to talk about is one that I've gotten so many questions about. I posted in my stories so that I picked it up and I'm trying it out. And I meant to give you guys some updates, but honestly, this month has just been crazy. But that is the new Kosa Sport um, sunscreen. I have the scented version. I have the Serene Clean. I picked this one up over the unscented because I just like scented deodorants. I tend to get smelly. I tend to get sweaty. I really enjoy having something that provides a little bit of a nice scent. However, I picked this up and I was like, there is no way that this is going to work for me because let me tell you, I talk about this all the time, but I am a very, very sweaty person. I yeah, I smell terrible when I sweat. It's not just like, oh, I sweat and I get wet. No, no, no. It's like, you smell me too. It's bad. Um, I'm pretty sure I have hyperhidrosis. I've never actually gotten that diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure that I do because my dad sweats a lot. His mother sweats a lot. It just seems to like run in our family. Um, but <laughs> growing up in Florida, it was miserable. Because of all that, I have a really hard time finding clean deodorants that work. Um, that's why I stick with my Ursa Major Hop and Fresh deodorant because it works and I don't smell. And I was like, there is no way that this thing is going to work. How is it actually going to keep me smelling fresh? But it does. <laughs> it works so well. I never thought I'd be sitting here being like, I have a new favorite deodorant, but I actually do. So if, I know this is sold out some places, but I think it's still available in some places. But if you're looking for a deodorant that is kind of game changing, check this one out because it, doesn't have baking soda. It really just uses AHA, so alpha hydroxy acids to keep you fresh. I'd heard rumblings about that working well as a, um, as a deodorant, and it turns out it does. Um, it goes on completely clear, like it's not a stick. It's actually really interesting. I was not expecting this application. It's like a rollerball um, application. It goes on completely clear. It's actually a pretty good price for this deodorant too. I think it's um, around $15 and you get 2.4 fluid ounces. The only caveat I will say is if you get too much on, it can get a little sticky, like not as in sweaty sticky, but like you get too much of the deodorant and your armpits kind of stick together and then that looks like a chicken. So don't put too much on, but this actually does work. Um, it makes me so much less afraid to like wear black shirts. Like it kind of is liberating and it also doesn't stain my clothes at all. I haven't been noticing what yellowing um, sweat with uh, certain like white shirts and stuff. And also in case you're wondering whether I've been testing this properly, uh, it's first of all, it's been like 90 degrees in Boston and I have no AC. I am living by using fans. We have a window AC in our bedroom. We have a window AC now. We had to get one in our living room because we're staying home and literally we were dying. I was getting headaches like daily from getting too hot. I've been sweating a lot. We've been working out at home, which literally like when we're done because it's so hot, we'll just be like one big puddle of sweat. Also, we've been, we went out on a hike. I was hiking outside for three hours in nearly 90 degree weather. Granted, I was completely drenched in sweat, but I was not smelling terrible. And I really have to give credit to the deodorant. Um, I feel like I've been talking about this for like five minutes. I'm like looking at my monitor and I'm like, wow, I've been talking about this for way too long, but I haven't given you guys a review of it yet. So I'm giving it a little mini review here. The next part, I got a lot of questions about this and I now have to tell you it is a favorite. This is from Lovina. Um, this Lovina is a black owned brand that does amazing eyeshadow palettes. I was raving about their eyeshadow palette, I, their eye magic eyeshadow palette. One of the best eyeshadow palettes I've ever used in the clean beauty space. The formula is incredible. And I also got questions about their skincare and I didn't try out a bunch of their skincare because to be honest, it was quite expensive, but I did pick this one up. This is their, their vitamin C cleansing balm. And I love this. This is a cleanser, a cleansing balm, so you can use it to remove your makeup and it does emulsify in water. We all know I'm all about cleansers that 
uh, oil cleansers and cleansing balms and emulsifying water. This product is beautiful. I'm going to try not to make a mess of it here and show you. It is literally blood red. The packaging is incredible. It is so weighty. And one of the things I also like about this product is I don't like cleansing balms because I don't like dipping my hand into the cleansing balm. This product comes with a beautiful little spatula. I know it's such a small detail, but to me, like it just shows how much thought went into the product, how you're going to use it. And having that spatula means I can get that product out and keep it nice and clean and sanitary. And I'm not like removing some of my makeup then having realizing I don't have enough um, cleansing balm and then having to dip back in and getting some of my makeup in there. With a spatula, I can just keep it clean, just scoop out what I need. Honestly, it works really well at breaking down my makeup. It is a beautiful product if you want to splurge and really treat yourself. Because let me tell you, I feel like I'm using like a luxury, luxury product when I use this. The whole experience is just lovely. It's beautiful. Um, I really want to try out more skincare from Lavina now, but I definitely am loving this cleansing balm. Okay. So I feel like I'm getting like really excited about some products. So I'm actually going to talk about both of these together because I really just like both of them. I recently did a video. I should go up before this one. So if it is, I will link it. If not, it'll be coming soon about all um, a whole bunch of facial sunscreens I tried. And I really have enjoyed a lot of them. And when I was boiling down and thinking about like, what are my favorites? Um, I wanted to give these two a shout out. I know I talked about the Solera sunscreen in my last video. I've been trying out these since then. I still love the Solera. It's still amazing, but I have like two new favorites to add into the favorite sunscreen category. And I wanted to talk about these two as well, specifically being favorites because they're really great for, especially for their price. They're both lower price point sunscreens. Um, this one is the Kinship self reflect sunscreen. This is SPF 32 and it has a very slight tint to it. Basically just enough tint to help provide, prevent white cast. And this one here is the Mad Hippie um, Facial SPF. This is SPF 30, also uses zinc oxide. This one is not tinted. It's got a little bit of a stronger scent. So if you're not into super scented products, this one may not be for you, but this one I really do like as well. They both just work really well. Um, they're different. This one is more of a lightweight, like kind of more matte sunscreen. This one, you, it's lightweight, but it's a little bit more nourishing. I don't know if that makes sense, but they both work really well on my oily skin. They both have been holding up really well in the heat, but I really have been enjoying them. Um, and if you're in the market for a sun, facial sunscreen, which you probably are because it's summer, these are both really great options to check out and they are more affordable than a lot of the other options in the clean beauty space. The next product I want to shout out is one that I was waiting for so long for this to get to me. Um, I placed an order with Range Beauty. I'm going to have a video all about some Range Beauty products I've been trying out coming soon. However, this one is so, so good. I had to talk about it. Range Beauty is a black owned brand. Every time I try and say black owned brand, I say black owned bland, not bland at all. One of the products I decided to try out is their um, foundation. And I'm going to be really honest and tell you my thought going into this because I was really nervous about finding a shade in the foundation that was light enough for me because I can't find it in a lot of brands that are owned by white people. Like they still don't make shades that are light enough that are like a true porcelain foundation shade. And I want to give such a round of applause to Range Beauty for not only having an extensive shade range that actually is more inclusive than almost anything else in the clean beauty space, but also not only going deeper, but actually doing a fair foundation shade properly. Like this is not yellow. It's not pink. Like it is a neutral fair shade. Um, I should mention I have the shade in Paloma. Um, like mind blown. Like everybody take note. Like <laughs> this brand has figured out how to do foundation shades and do them properly. There's so many brands that are not black owned that still can't even figure out like fair shades of foundation, let alone deeper shades. It's just a mess. So anyway, I have to give a major shout out to this brand, but also I love this foundation. Like this is one of the best foundations I have found in a clean beauty space. And I know you guys are like, what? And I'm like, yes, like this is like up there with my Ilya's True Skin Serum Foundation, the Ilya Skin Tint, the, um, let me think, the Saint Cosmetics Foundation. I've really been loving the Jane Iredale Foundation. Like this just like moved in with my favorite foundations. A huge reason for this is it is a pretty high coverage foundation, but it also like is pretty matte. 
it's just so good. Like I need, I like I said, I'm going to be doing a video all about this foundation. I'll show you me demoing it, but I'm just, I'm mind blown. Like it is just so good. It's the perfect shade match for me. It, it is wearing so well in this heat. It is not breaking apart. It is not moving around. It's not budging. It's like on the more matte side, I would say like a skin like finish. It's not dewy, but it's not like dried matte, like cakey. It's, it's perfect. Uh, the only thing I would change about it is the pump is a little aggressive and all shoots out way more foundation than I need, but that's like a minor thing. Like that is the only complaint I have about this part. Um, so yeah, you're going to be hearing more about this soon, but I absolutely am, am loving it. I've been trying out so many products from black owned brands and found so many amazing products. Like I'm having such a fun time. Like it really has reinvigorated me and gotten me like, I'm, a, I'm never not excited about makeup, but it's like gotten me really, really excited about makeup again because I'm discovering products from brands that I've not used before. It's just, it's so much fun. And there, <laughs> I found so many amazing products. And I recently tested out a whole bunch of products from Josephine Cosmetics. I will link that video up above. There were a number of products that I really liked, but the two that I really want to give a special shout out to are two liquid products. We know that I love liquid eyeshadows and I want to shout out both the liquid eyeshadow and the liquid blush. So I have the Eye Dazzle. That's this one, it's in the shade Elaine, and this is the uh, Do You in the shade Claire. So I love the eyeshadow, I love the amount of glitter it has, I love how it stays in place on my eyes throughout the day, it's just a beautiful product, and I really love the highlighter in Claire as well, it's a beautiful liquid highlighter, it doesn't pick up the products underneath, it just gives me this beautiful glow from within. I guess I'll swatch them both for you here, um, but you really should go check out my Josephine Cosmetics video, I will link that. Um, but these are just beautiful products and really it's such a, these are such luxury products. Like the packaging is beautiful. There's just so much thought that's gone into them. Um, they really are incredible, incredible products. Okay, so here is Elaine swatched right here and here is Claire. Claire is not showing up. Oh, there you go, there's Claire. The lightest one is Claire and then that's the Eye Dazzle in um, Elaine. They're just beautiful products. They work really well. If you like liquid highlighters, liquid eyeshadows, you should check these out. And the packaging is like, this This is some of the best packaging in clean beauty. Uh, maybe in all of beauty, really, because I've not seen anything quite like this. Like, it's incredible packaging. The next product I want to give a shout out to, I picked up when I picked up the PYT bronzer, which I also really love, but I think out of the two products, I actually kind of prefer this. Um, this is the Upgrade Highlighter, and I got the shade Backstage Pass. So I used to have the Upgrade Highlighter in the shade Quartzite, which is horrible. It was a terrible product. Um, it was really chunky, glittery, just not a good highlighter. However, this one here in the stage, in the shade Backstage Pass, it's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. It works really well with my skin tone, which I always am worried about. I've got a swatch right in the middle of my hand right here. You can see how it is reflecting the light. It's just a beautiful highlighter. It's not at all chunky. It's not glittery. This one actually just gives you a glow from within rather than just seeing glitter on your face. I know I, um, I'm pretty sure it was Andy from um, Andy the Green Queen who told me that this shade was really good. I was placing an order anyway from um, PYT Beauty and I decided to just pick this up and yeah, it's good. And I wanted to shout it out too because pressed highlighters, like it's been really hard for me to find, especially pressed highlighter shades that work really well for my skin tone. And this is definitely a great one. And yeah, I've really been enjoying it. I hope this was a fun favorites video. I feel like I was talking really fast, throwing a lot of information and products at you really quickly, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comment section down below what some of your favorites have been for the month of July. And I honestly already am starting to test out some more products that I already am really enjoying. So I've got a lot of fun content coming up for August. Of course, I'll have a range beauty review. Hopefully I will also do get ready with me and kind of talk about what's been going on recently. I just have a lot of fun stuff. I've been trying out a whole bunch of Root products again. I kind of have also like rediscovered Root. They've released a lot of cream products and you guys know I love a good cream product. So I've really been having fun kind of rediscovering Root. I don't know, got a lot of fun stuff coming. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you are notified of when I post new videos. Be and also be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Naturally Beautiful Cat to see more of me there. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.